You all are welcome to this video. In the previous video, we studied about quadratic equations and the standard form of quadratic equations. Let's look at some examples based on it. Rita has a wooden plank with an area of 48 square feet and its length 2 feet more than the breadth. Rita has to construct a wooden frame with the plank. For this, she needs the equation of length and breadth of the frame. Will you help Rita find an equation that will be formed to find the length and breadth of the frame? Let's solve the example using the given information. To begin with, let's assume the breadth of the frame as x feet. So now, to find out the length of the frame, let's add 2 feet to x, which gives the length of the frame as x plus 2. We know that the wooden plank is rectangular. So, we use the formula for the area of a rectangle. It's given that the area of the rectangle is 48 square feet. Substituting all the values given above in the formula of the area, On solving, we get x raised to 2 plus 2x minus 48 is equal to 0. Using this equation, Rita can find out the length and breadth of the frame. Come on, let's look at one more example. A bus completes 160 km with a constant speed. If we increase its speed by 4 km per hour, then the bus takes one less hour to complete the journey. In this case, find out the equation to find out the speed of the bus. Can you find out the equation for speed of the bus? Let the speed of the bus be x kilometers per hour. The total distance covered by the bus is 160 kilometers. Let the time taken by the bus to cover the distance be t hours. Since we need to find the equation for speed of the bus, let's represent it in the following manner. Speed x would be equal to 160 by t or we can write it as t is equal to 160 by x which is represented by equation 1. On increasing the speed of the bus by 4 km per hour, we get x plus 4. According to the question, on increasing the speed of the bus, it takes one less hour to complete the distance. That is, time is equal to t minus 1. On solving, we get equation 2. Substituting the value of t from equation 1 in equation 2, We get x to the power 2 plus 4x minus 640 equals 0, which is the equation for the speed of the bus. In today's video, we looked at some examples based on quadratic equations and its general form. In the next video, we will look at some of the commonly made mistakes while solving such questions.